all right hi everyone welcome to the video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to develop a bot with python which can download images from the website so it will download each and every images from the website so let's learn how to do that all right hi um yep the feed is proper and i am reading your comments so if you have any questions or concern you can post it in the comment section and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so that's amazing so let's get started let me show you a small piece of demo what are we trying to develop here or what are we doing here so basically we are trying to develop a web scraper bot which will develop all the all the website and all the images from the website so for this tutorial i'm gonna use university of bridgeport as usual so let's get started uh, so here you see when you go to university of bridgeport it has a lot of images and icons so i want to develop a bot or a, a code which will download each and every images from the website so here you see the images are usually included in uh, included in a tag known as img and it has a source and then it has a link so here you can see so the Im how the image is formed let me just tell you that before that let me just turn on my recording as well yep it's on so the way the links are formed is basically with the base url that is www.bridgeport.edu and after that slash the link of the image so let's try to develop a python code which will fetch all the url and then we'll learn how to download download all the images on our computer so let's get started so for this tutorial we would be requiring the request library so these are the library that we require for our uh, to develop this python bot so we're going to de develop a request library i'm going to say import url lib dot request we need that to download that as well then i need import oops i would say from bs4 import beautiful soup so these are the library first we need to download or we need to import so if you have questions please list it in the comment i'm reading your comments as well at the same time all right so once we have the library done uh, we need to uh, make a request on the website so i'm gonna do a couple of stuff so i'm gonna say url equals to i'm gonna pass this url from the website that is university of bridgeport oops that's not the url all right just gonna copy that all right once i'm done with that make sure remove the slash now we need headers why do we need headers because if we make a request to the website the website will block us of course we don't want to do that we want to tell the browser or the website or the server that, hey we are making a request from a web browser you know so let's develop a header we need a header so i'm gonna say i'm gonna go to google and i'm gonna go to culturalworks.com uh i'm just gonna type get i'm just copy co gonna copy this header this is just a random header that i'm gonna pass in all right this is the header we have the header now let's make a request on the website so we're gonna say r equals to request dot get um url url equals to url so we are we pass in the url headers equals to headers oops headers my bad so if i print the response i should get 200 which means it is accepted by the bot so let's get let's see if this works want to make sure that the website don't block me yep you see here we are getting 200 that means we have successfully uh, made a request on the university of bridgeport website now i need to develop i need to download all the images from the website whatever images uploaded on the on the ub website i need to download everything so the way to do that is basically i need to use a web scraping so i'm going to use a beautiful soup i don't know why my mouse is not working properly just give me one sec all right that's fine so i'm going to make a object or i'm going to first first of all i'm going to uh iterate to for so let me just run through a loop or you know what let me just create a soup object soup equals to beautiful soup i'm gonna say r dot text basically i'm passing the entire html page and i'm gonna say um html parser all right so beautiful that's pretty good now we need to iterate over this for image in soup dot find all oops sorry for that make sure you type the colon uh, on a search for image so what it does basically from this ub website it's gonna search all the images that's cool isn't it we so you see these all images let me show you a demo it's 
so if I go to inspect so here you see it's it's entered in an in a div tag known as image similarly for this image as well you see now I need to do download all the images from the UVB website so I just I'm searching the div tag so if I do that and um, after searching if I can just print it so sure enough this will give me all the links of that images so let me run that real quick so here you see beautiful we just fetched everything from the website to here now you observe uh i don't need everything inside this i just need the src what i'm trying to say is i just need the link of that image so i'm gonna further refine my search uh i'm gonna say image underscore path equals to or let's say image underscore temp would be equal to um soup um you know what no let's say so i'm gonna say image dot get src now if i print this i should get just the link from this entire stuff so image underscore temp if i run this sure enough we got the link beautiful we just extracted all the image link from the website that's amazing um now we need to do something like uh, as I said to you that this images are the link that are provided here. So this is the mm. this is not the complete link. We have the base URL that is HTTP mm. university the HTTP colon slash slash www dot bridgeport dot edu slash then the image link. So I'm gonna apply one quick logic here to make the link. So I'm gonna say if and I'm gonna say if um, image temp colon one just want to make sure it was it colon one yep it is so if image colon one I'm gonna explain you the logic behind this so what I'm trying to say guys is if this if the first element from the link has a has a slash character that means the link is not complete so I'm gonna create a link so i'm just gonna concatenate sorry concatenate two strings sorry for that uh slip of tongue image path um would be uh image temp oops first i'm gonna say url what is the url of course this is a base url www.brispo.edu uh, edu plus um i'm gonna say image them that's it i mean we we made the link now let me show you let me just print all of these um else just want to type this out real quick all right so now if i type the image path i got all the image path from the ub website like this now if i run it yeah you see all the links from the websites so um let me see there is a small issue why the links are not completed i there should be a partial link give me one sec um i believe let's try this um, right um and if i run oh i was running the image temp that's why my bad i should run image path i should print the image path not the image temp all right image path now it should print the link hopefully from the website there you go just like that it's that easy so if i open any of the links to show you this is an uh, image from the website let me show you a couple of links so i have a lot of images so here you see i got the image of president from the website <laughs> that's amazing i mean this is just so here you see all the links all the images from the website i have the link now i need to download uh, these images um so how do i do that pretty simple guys it's not that difficult so i need to further refine my search now what i'm trying to say guys in this all links i have some png i have some jpg so i need to refine my search further i only need the jpg i just just need the jpeg file so i'm gonna do that by specifying if dot jpg all right in image path colon print image path oops print image path so what this does basically if 
dot jpg is present in the entire link then only print the image image link else we don't have the link that means it's a bad link right so if i do this so from everything i'll just get the jpeg file so if i run this sure enough i just got the jpeg files now you see that's um image from the ub website we just made a quick web crawler from ub website that's like amazing you can just go to any random link it will open photographs from the ub website so here you see some of the photographs now we need to develop a logic to download this so how do i download on my computer i don't want to like do uh, all on all images do right click save image as name it no we are a programmer we have to think smart right so let's try to do that so if you have any questions please listen list it in the comment section i am reading your comments and uh, i would be very happy and glad to answer all your questions um so yep now we are moving to the next part that is we need to store these images um in a file right i want to name that file so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a counter i'm gonna say i equals to one so i'm gonna name all the images starting from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so the way i do that then let's let's say zero and i'm gonna increment the counter by one all right so um i have this link i need to store this in a file so i just say with it's as simple as that so i'm gonna say open and um, inside this i'm gonna spell oops my bad what's going on yep yeah uh, so i'm gonna say i'm gonna use string formatting jpg jpeg files jpj just want to make sure the formatting is png or jpj yeah we'll do jpj that's fine all right so uh dot jpj dot format and i'm gonna say i because i'm gonna name all the images from numbers one two three four five six seven eight i'm gonna say write buffer as f now we just need to write the image on my computer so one line of command so it's gonna be f dot write and i'm gonna say request dot get uh i'm gonna pass url equal um, url equals to url comma oops no url would be our image image url right because we want to download all the images so image path and if i'm not wrong hopefully uh dot contents hopefully and if i run this there should be all the images on my on my computer hopefully finger crossed let's see i hope my logic is proper all right guys we have all the images on our computer just like that from ub website so i made my own bot to do that so it will basically <laughs> download all the images from the website here you see about 50 images from from the website it downloaded it's amazing you know what you can do with programming it's just amazing so here you see all the images from the website <laughs> that's crazy i mean this is just one of the example what you can do with python why python is so popular here you see all the images from the ub website it so the bot did everything for us it renamed it it saved all the files on our computer so that's crazy so if you have questions please post them in the comment section i am reading your questions so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new so going through the algorithm how we did what we did once again in short so in order to download images from any website we need to do a web scraping that is we're going to use a library known as beautiful soup and we're going to use the request library so first of all i need the url which is the url from the website then i need to pass some headers what is headers the headers we pass in because we don't want the website people to block us because we don't they don't we don't want to think the server that we are a bot they'll block us so in order to fool our server we are passing the request we are passing the header then we do a request dot get so we are doing a get request so so we can get the entire html content of the page and i create a soup object using a beautiful soup then basically for img in soup dot find all img so because all the images on the website is on the div tag known as img so i'm searching that and after searching that what i'm doing is basically i want the src that means i want the source uh file uh what i'm trying to say um 
is basically this. So when I go to an image, I have an SRC that's a link to that image. So I need that link and I am just making a request on that link and downloading all the uh, link. And here you see all the images are there on my computer. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have some questions, concerns or anything, just let me know by posting your questions in the comment section below. And as usual, don't forget to like. Uh, this video is also there on my YouTube channel. Uh, make, make sure to like, subscribe, and I would see you guys next time.